Hi everyone! In this video I'm on a hike and I want to take out the Esheen EAT-15 to see how much rally it really can be. So this is the Esheen EAT-15. And if you're thinking, this design seems oddly familiar, you are right. It is not licensed, but to me it looks a lot like a Lancia Delta Integrale. And it comes with cool head and tail lights. The EAT-15 shares its body with drift cars from Pinecone and UDIRC. It comes with a Phillips screwdriver, a nut wrenching tool, Allen key, extra steering links, spare body clips and a LiPo battery plus charger. It also comes with drift tires. If you want to see footage of them being used on a RC car, check out my review on the UDI RC1602 Pro. Since I want to be using this RC as a rally car, I purchased fuel filled shocks to replace the stock friction dampers since they are quite bouncy. The RC has a foam front bumper a brushless motor, a three-wire servo, and a brushless ESC combo. So now let's swap out those dampers with the tools that came in the box. Unscrew the top and pop off the lower part. And repeat with all the others. You may not see it in the footage, but the oil shocks compress much smoother, although they feel like they don't have much in them. So unscrew the cap and see what's inside. Under the cap is a small diaphragm to keep the oil from leaking. Take it off and see what's inside. As I suspected, there's not much oil in there. I'm using this 750 CPS silicone shock oil. I assume that 800 or higher would even be better. But I'm on a budget, so this will have to do. Drip. In the end, I roll up some paper to get the rest of the oil out of the shocks. And now fill all the way to the top. Put the diaphragm back on, as well as the cap, and on with the next one. For some reason, I couldn't pop the first one on, but we'll get to that later. So let's get to the shop that wouldn't fit. There was some excess plastic on the lower part of the shock. Hello, quality control. So I just removed it with my trusty pocket knife. And there you go. Click. Now it feels much smoother and less bouncy. I'll put the hood slash bonnet back on and off for the drop test. Now it looks like an actual rally car. What I noticed though is that you have to make sure that you have everything to scale. Since those little tiny pebbles for this car can be like giant boulders. It might be because it's a brushless system but I run into cogging issues every now and then.
Driving around with this RC car has been great fun. I do recommend the upgrade to oil dampen shocks even if you do not want to take it out for rallying. It's a cheap yet very effective way to upgrade your RC, since they make the ride much smoother and faster. Links for the RC and the shocks are in the description. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe.